With a quick change pump bracket, no tools are required, although a flathead screwdriver may come in handy. Before doing any maintenance on your unit, be sure to disconnect from the compressed air or power supply. Depressurize the unit by pointing the wand in a safe direction and opening the ball valve. Then close the valve at the base of the suction line to shut off the flow of liquid. Open the unit back plate. Lift the wire bracket to release the pump. On the underside of the pump, there are three hose barb connections. Each hose barb is held in place by a clip. Slide the tab on the clip away from the hose to release each hose barb. You may want to use a flathead screwdriver, especially for the smallest tab. After releasing the clips, the barb should pull out easily. If one seems stuck, wiggle the clip or try holding it in the open position while you pull on the hose. Your new pump will include new hose barbs. Normally it's fine to remove these and just connect the old hose barbs to the new pump. But if you notice a barb is leaking, you may want to replace the old O-rings with the new ones. Even if you don't use them now, it's a good idea to save the new barbs in case you need a replacement in the future. To remove the O-ring from a barb, work a small flathead screwdriver or similar tool under the O-ring, then lift it up and off the barb. Be careful not to damage the O-ring. Push the new O-ring down over the barb until it's seated in the groove. To install the new pump, Connect the hose barbs and secure each one by pushing the tab toward the hose until the clip clicks into place. Make sure to connect the suction and discharge lines to the correct ports. The arrows on the underside of the pump show the flow direction. Seat the pump against the back plate and secure it by pulling the wire bracket down over the top. Finally, close the back plate and make sure the suction line valve is open. Now you know how to change the pump on one of our units with a quick change bracket.